Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal, and today we're going to be playing What Remains of Edith Finch. Now, this game did come out a couple of years ago, but this is my first playthrough, though I have watched somebody else play this before, but I don't remember very much of like what happened uh, during it, like specifically. I just remember that I really liked it. So, yes, I'm very excited to finally be able to play it for myself. As always, we will be streaming this live on Twitch, so if you see a little check going by inside and I'm talking to people, that is why. So, I'll be sure to leave my social links down below in the description box. So, if you haven't heard of this game before, no worries. Uh, this is basically a psychological very very story heavy um kind of more of like an interactive movie sort of game uh, so there's not going to really be a lot of like gameplay in it necessarily uh, but this game i remember being just so wonderful and i really recommend watch it once uh, but with that being said i will also say that there is a massive uh, trigger warning for this game it does cover a lot of really intense topics such as death and suicide and also child death so um just please be warned of that. I will link a full trigger warning list down below in the description box if you need it. Um, but yes, that is a really, really big warning for this. It's, it's quite the serious game. I'm honestly not really sure how I'm going to respond to it personally, um, like if I'm going to get really sad or not, because uh, I remember when I first watched it a long time ago, I did get really sad, uh, but I tend to have also become numb to a lot of these sorts of topics over the years um, for various reasons, obviously. But uh, yeah, so I, I'm not sure how I'm gonna take it. I feel like I'm either gonna like cry and get real sad or I'm gonna be numb to it and like my humor coping mechanism will come out real strong. So um, yeah, if I'm like cracking jokes and stuff um, or if I'm like maybe not responding in a way that I probably should, that's why. So <laughs> um, yeah, I am gonna play this all in just one episode for this full game uh, just because I feel like it's best experienced that way. But if at any point you need to like take a break or if the trigger warning um, f feels like it will be too applicable to you, then just skip out or take a break when you need to during this game because um, it is quite a serious topic, even though I might end up playing it more lightheartedly. Um, just keep those things in mind. All right, but yes, anyways, I'm super excited just to jump into this game. So don't forget to subscribe to me here on YouTube and give this video a thumbs up if you end up liking it. But otherwise, let's go ahead and get started. Here we go. Okay. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. Here and we I'm go. sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning with the house. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Half the rooms? How come? Is this our mailbox? I don't know if I like it with controller. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent. Seven years ago. Immediately. <laughs> oh, make a lull. Okay, the controls are a little bit wonky, <laughs> but uh, I had we'll, we'll figure it out. My brother Lewis's funeral. Lewis, no trespassing. But I can trespass, right? It's my house. My mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Oh, okay. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought that the mystery would be enough to bring me back. I mean, was she wrong? This game is really pretty. Hello? Anybody here? No one had driven this way in a long time, but I saw a few have prints. Of prints of a horse. Whose horse is that? Oh, hey, buddy. No, come back. Was that a moose? No, that's too small for a moose. The truth is, just a deer. Even after I inherited the house. I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Mm -hmm. Damn, look at that house. The house was exactly like I remembered it, the way I'd been dreaming about it. Looks like a fucking fairy tale house. What the heck? There's so many fucking animals. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Oh. I saw a paper. Missing Milton Finch. Can I look at it? 
Uh, Milton Finch. I can't fucking read it. It's a very, uh, oh, there's a lot of them. Who's Milton? Now, as a 17 year old, I knew exactly what those words were. 17? Oh, God. Some gardening supplies. Ooh, I got the key for that. I hoped the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. Oh. <laughs> uh. Hog. Sneaking in. Looking in, I felt oh. like the house itself had been waiting for me. It's kind of cozy. <laughs> My horror game instincts thought something was gonna pop off, honestly. Oh, wind chimes. My grandparents' house used to have one of these. In the cat door we go. Fog. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. This is so eerie. The power had been turned off the night we left. Oh, of course, of course. For the first time in years. I felt like I was home. Pog, welcome home. Wow, this fucking, what a fucking, what a house. Looking like a fucking hobbit home. Jesus Christ. Ah, shit everywhere. The family, there were just memories of one. Like how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Molly? Oh, is Molly dead? <laughs> Where's Molly? I really like the text presentation in this game. I really like it as well. And if I'm looking in the wrong spot, it like auto directs my camera, which is nice as well. Ooh, apple pie. Fog. Do you guys have a favorite pie? I don't really eat pie very often. I ha I didn't actually try pie for like a really long time until I was probably like in my late teens. Or how only one restaurant would deliver to our house. So we had Chinese a lot. <gasps> Hell yeah, Chinese food. Imperial Palace. Man, I haven't had Chinese food in a while. Strawberry rhubarb. Two strawberry rhubarbs? Bro. <laughs> Holy cans, Jesus. Um, should I go left or right? Maybe left. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Eddie. Who's Eddie? I haven't really had that much pie. I think I like blueberry pie, but I've actually never tried strawberry rhubarb. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Oh, Edie. I see. Oh, was this her chair? Oh, and her oxygen tank. Where is Edie? Nothing in the house looked oh. abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. <laughs> smile of Sauron. Let's go. Oh, what's that? The house actually looks quite cozy, but it is very eerie. What's that? Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. After it sank? Pardon? Excuse you? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Empty houses are always eerie. Yeah, usually. What's this? Barbara. Oh, we came in. Oh, Great Grandpa no. Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. Yeah, I get it, Barbara. Wiggle those little legs. <laughs> Barbara Finch. What is that? Oh, it's like a movie set. Maybe a director or an actor? Mom always told me to stay out of the basement so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Oh. I want to go in the basement. Ooh, somebody plays violin. Wow. Jiminy said slurp. The lighting in this game is so pretty. Oh, I love this fucking door. With the books. That's so cute. What's A lot this? of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. Mm hmm. Oh, Pog, Edie even had a fucking gamer chair. Let's go, Edie. 
Do I go upstairs? I kind of want to try this door. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. What? This tiny ass room? That's a little monkers, dude. Uh, there we go. Can I get in there? I don't have a key. Can I unlock the front door? My this. mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Oh, those are the posters we saw outside. Can I take the gamer chair up? <laughs> After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Uh, Edie? <laughs> oh. Hello. Who's, who's room? Oh, oh, this one's open. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. Uncle Walter? I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Rebel Grandma, let's go. It's pretty in here, though. Why is this? Oh, Pog! Yo! Am I pregnant? Oh, shit. Look at us. Oh, damn. Oh, wait. Why are we 17? Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Oh, God. I like, I like her gloves. Those are quite cute. 20,000 leaves Turns out under the sea. My mom was really good at keeping secrets. Ooh. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Hell yeah. Let me in there. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Was that before or after he went missing? Imagine if he went missing, he was literally just stuck in the house somewhere. <laughs> Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. But I had no idea what was behind that door. <sighs> oh, very pink room. Oh, we're coming out like of I the closet? No where all this was gonna lead. Huh. I grew up looking Molly. at Molly's room through the peephole. Being Wait, inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Wasn't Molly the cat? Or was the cat named after Molly? Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. <gasps> that is so fucking cute! Look, it's got double bed and everything. <laughs> is that the Molly? Since Edie had spent a lot of time here. Before my mom spooky. sealed the doors. Molly Finch. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's gonna happen. It started when mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and oh. I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. No. What do you mean? Can I go out? Oh, I have my own bathroom. Wow, we're so small. I Toothpaste? kept eating and eating. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> Sorry. I ate a lot of things that night. Oh, those are probably not real, honey. Oh god. Uh... <laughs> hmm, what else can I eat? Work as island cows. <gasps> no! I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. Not Christopher! Yeah, I don't want to eat you, Christopher. <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> no. The oh, the food is dry, but I didn't mind it. Okay, just his food. Okay, okay. Okay, as long as you're not eating the gerbil. Mom, can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. 
Then I heard chirping outside my window. No. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. Looks and like a snack to me. <laughs> oh, we have chains on our window. And suddenly... <laughs> I was a cat. Bog? Oh shit, we're fast as fuck, boy. Can I jump? Oh. <laughs> I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. <laughs> hey, yo. Let me get a piece of that wing. Oh god. Oh my god, we're purring. didn't even look at me. Parkour! <laughs> well, that this is an entirely different game than I thought earlier, and I don't know this game at all. <laughs> uh, where did he go? Oh, shit. <laughs> Can't reach. <laughs> How do I get up there? Maybe over here? <laughs> Oh, 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 Pog. Okay, let's go, let's go. Oh, you're mine now, bitch. Oh, fuck. Come here. Chicken wing, chicken wing. I jumped and I almost got her. <laughs> hey, yo, what up? Birdie boy. Oh, fuck, how do I get up there? I could tell she was getting really tired. Good. Now I need I a snack. Big tree. Oh god, I that's really sad. Far. I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about <laughs> was eating that mama bird. <laughs> no, not the mama bird. <laughs> Mommy, sorry. Mommy, sorry. I gobbled Mommy. <laughs> Pong, we got her. And suddenly, I was an owl. Hey yo. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. <laughs> little teeth, huh? Nibbling? What are we looking for? Oh, uh, rabbits. rabbits! Oh, I see him! Oh, I'm coming for you, buddy! Oh, I'm so sorry! <laughs> Looking up and seeing my talents. I swallowed him up and I didn't chew one bit. What the fuck is this bitch? Jesus! <laughs> I don't like it here anymore. <laughs> A mama rabbit. A mama. No! You just ate her fucking child. She was almost too big to carry. Can I grab it? I started no. choking, but I couldn't stop eating. Stop eating! Bro. And suddenly, I was a shark. Oh. Oh. Yeah, as one would. Oh my Jesus. Oh, I can, um... <laughs> this is not a good spot to be in! <laughs> can I... <laughs> Baby shark... Baby shark... No, let me out! <laughs> Pog, let's go, let's go! Big prog! I rolled off the cliff oh. and into the ocean. Now, I was hungrier than... Oh shit. Oh fuck, let's go. I see you, you little fish. Oh my god, I'm fast as fuck. Hey yo. I want it fat. No, it's a seal! Fat juicy seal. I tore off her flipper and it tasted really good. Oh. 
so sad. Why am I here? No, she is bleeding. I'm so please. Grabbed on tight. Oh, when I was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. <sighs> <laughs> what the fuck are we? Tentacle? Oh my god. Uh. What am I? I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Okay. Oh, we just. Uh. We. Uh. I <laughs> sure came in at a time, I Angie. Oh, oh, I can move with it. Oh, God. What? <laughs> Octopus time? Okay, all right, well. Now I was a monster, and I smelled people everywhere. <laughs> um. Hey, yo. I'm gonna get him. This is such a weird mechanic to... It's so weird. I... Was I... Big, but I <laughs> real quiet. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, let's go up here as one time. <laughs> this is so fucking weird. Oh god. I to stop, but also, I didn't. I want to stop now. That would be good. No. To go outside, don't I? Oh my god. Oh, captain, my captain! <laughs> After the last passenger, I was still hungry. And across the water, I smelled something new. Something six. I had to have, so I swam towards it. <laughs> what a way to start. This is a. Uh... Oh shit, we I still. I onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. It could smell. Mm, that good, good, huh? Oh shit, we're fast as fuck now. What are we chasing now? Oh, that's a toilet. That's a fucking toilet. Hell no. Oh, I hate I got that. Closer and closer. No, this is my room. Um. All my stomach started growling. Oh, your stomach! How many fucking stomachs you got? And suddenly, that was me again. Uh, I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. Honey? <laughs> you good? Uh. <laughs> this is the Baldus Four fanfic. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, no. but I'm sure Edie would have. 1937 to 1947. She was only 10! Oh, Molly. What is that? Oh, it's a okay. It's a caterpillar. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my cat again. Oh, I can actually walk out here. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Hmm. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten. She was the one who named it Molly. 
Okay, so it was named after the kid. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Oh. Cool we got room, along, Edie? and it was a good place to hide from my mom. Edie gave a big oh, interview man. about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. <laughs> but why? I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. What is this? Edith Jr. Lake Trip. Sam Photo Award in 69, Ayla Mile. Compir Conspiracy Now, Sam Medal Ceremony, Home Movies, Weird America, The Fishes. Fishes? The Finest. <laughs> Wait, is that what it says? <laughs> my big, my friend Bigfoot, Chapter 7, Edith Interview, and Random Junk. Interesting collection. What is this? Lewis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Oh. Edie knit me a new pair of gloves every year, just in time to replace the old ones. That's nice of her. Let's see. Molly, Barbara, Calvin, Sam, Walter, Dawn, Gus. Gregory, Lewis, Milton, and Edith. Y'all have dates on them. Her room is mm, like a museum. Birthdays? Oh. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune. And misfortune. I really appreciate the floating text. It's really nice. The Finches. Oh, it's at the Finches. I see. Real news. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse, his wife Ingeborg and their newborn son, Ingeborg. Johan. Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. I see. Interesting. But 40 foot waves off the coast of Washington send <sighs> the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Odin. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Mm. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Hmm. Interesting. That's a cool way to uh, display that. Whatever's I... wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Odin. 1880 to 1937. Well, at least he had a fuller life than Molly. Hmm. The Mysterious... Oh, Mysteries of Death and Thereafter by Odin Finch. Odin Finch joining the great majority. Well, there's a lot of books in here. Sven... Sven and Edie. Are these siblings? Okay, I want to make sure I'm not missing anything before I go over there. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. Oh, she could have, but she didn't. But everything you presented is so good. It's really nice. It flows really well. Built in 1937, Sven Finch. Oh. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. That's dumb. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. A 72-year-old woman refuses to evacuate because of a little forest fire. Mm, Even that's... in her 90s. Sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. That's such a dangerous thing to do. Oh my god. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. Ooh. It was a pretty big trace. I hate it. Oh, it would get so moldy in here. Oh, nice frog. No oh, reflections. It's mm -mm. a lot of medication. Oh, Pa, you got the old lady chair in here. My great grandma has that too. <laughs> Another key. There's a secret in this bathroom by Sven and Edie Finch. Interesting. Oh, there we go. 
There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Pong? Oh. What is- oh, is this a photo room? It's a dark room. Calvin Finch, born April 25th, 1950, died September 23rd, 1951. Who is this lad? Looking spiffy. Ben gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. Oh, I've always wanted to use a dark room for photos. Oh. <laughs> Milton. On a swing. And booze. Oh. Where? Ooh, cool. Fort Kelvin. Oh, very opposite, uh... Very opposite sides of the room. Even with the fucking red rope to split it. Oh, fucking... The most sibling-ass shit. Huh. Fort Sam. So Sam's into photography. Supposedly, like, maybe... Army slash camping stuff? Versus... Calvin's more about space. Duke the command center. Oh, I see! <laughs> so cute! Can I go up? Oh, I can! Kind of. Oh, maybe not. Interesting. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. Oh, they're twins. And that he never talked about him. Huh. <laughs> Must be a nightmare to clean, for real. Uh, September 1961. I guess my Hog. grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. Ooh. Calvin, 1950 to 1961. You were fucking 11! Bro, why is everyone dying so young? How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. Oh. Oh, Bob. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. <laughs> oh, no. At Barbara's funeral, we swore he'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. Even the way the text changes colors. always wanted to fly. Depending on what background you're on, that's fucking cool. Yeah, hold on, Mom. But I that day, set a record. He finally made up his mind to do it. Let's go. I told him going around was impossible. Let's fucking go. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. What's up with this foot? And maybe oh God, are we flopping? But I doubt it. Holy sh oh my I think he'd already made up his mind. Oh, oh my boobs. <laughs> That's what I want to remember about my brother. <laughs> let's go, gamers! Holy shit, let's go! Let's go! Oh shit! Oh pog, pog. And he did. Oh no! <laughs> oh damn! Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Rest in peace, Calvin. Oh no! <laughs> what are you? Went out like a true gamer. <laughs> After the funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. Oh, I see. That's why I was roped off. Damn, dude. 
Oh, I Mom can't look at anything. Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. Grandpa Sam. Interesting. Oh. Oh, that's such a cool way to direct. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, that's so fucking cool. This is the fucking coolest house. What the hell? Oh, a spooky palm. The passages thing. were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. Oh, I can choose which way they go. What does this say? You, Milton? Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. Oh, 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 actually a child star. Uh, Seattle Ballet Company presents Swan Lake Pog, Barbara. My friend Bigfoot. Wow, you even got a doll lunchbox. I fucking remember these kinds of lunchboxes. I never got to have them, but damn. The passage rates must have been so fun to come up with. It, they're really nice. This game must have been so much fun to make, right? I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Mm. 10 cents, October 1961. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Dreadful stories. Oh, Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. Interesting voice. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. <whistles> now at 16, she was all washed up. Has been. At 16, she was a has been. Break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just to boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> mm, getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... Now that was a great scream. That was a great was scream. Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be <laughs> rushed to the emergency room. No. <laughs> so Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention mm. comeback was cancelled. <gasps> okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orcas Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back mm. in a sec. I don't Five like him. Later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him right on cue. Mm. Like, why is he saying, like, good delivery? Music box. Especially when she's, like, not... And as she wound the I don't know, it's weird. She listened for Rick, but the house was silent. Oh. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> she found Rick's crutch and imagined the worst. Oh, this is so cool that I can control this. Hey, yo, I'm gonna knock all your cans over. I'll fuck you up. All your cleaning supplies too. The 
gang's oh leader is the God. infamous Hookman Killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. What is this? Oh, here's the saw. The hell? What's going on in here? I'll fuck you up with my fucking... Motherfucker. Don't even try and... <laughs> oh dear! Oh! oh. <laughs> Bar, you wreck relax. I was just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you're... She threw him out. I wonder why, I bud. There's something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Why? Hours later. Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, oh. I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. Oh, that's so cool. Alright, who we fucking up this time? Fucking ready to fuck a bitch up. Oh, it's Halloween! Hell yeah. Fucking apples. I'm fucking ready. Oh god. Who's roller skating in my house? Oh, so this is his room before it got taken down. Oh no, don't whack him. Walter vanished, but his bedside radio was still on. Orcas Island police described the man as six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. <laughs> I returned, saw the hook man, and... Speechless. He was quite smashing. Oh. He couldn't get enough of Barbara. Okay, Barbara. There's gotta be another way out of here. Oh, I know how to get out. <laughs> this is such an interesting way to control things. She played her part beautifully. Like, they could have just made this all, like, an actual cutscene, but, like, you can actually, like, you actually control it. That's so cool. Molly's door couldn't be opened in years. The hinges groaned. Fuck him up, bud. Fuck him up. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. He wasn't moving, but she sensed the story might not be over Yeah, I'll yet. fuck you up. I'll finish you off, bud. Get out of my house. Who do you think you are stealing my Walter? He's still there. <laughs> oh, he's gone. I vanished. She listened for his breathing, but all she heard was... <gasps> Who is it? Wait, but it's Halloween, isn't it? Little, little kids coming trick or treating. She heard whispering. It's coming from inside the house. <gasps> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Surprise! Oh no! The monsters had come to surprise her. For Barbara, it was a dream come true. Then she saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. Oh my. Her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her. Uh, I wasn't there myself. 
myself. But I hear Barbara was magnificent. Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And oh, little right. Walter, hiding oh, under Walter. his bed the whole time. Oh, Walter. It all pretty hard. But that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. <laughs> oh? Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. Ah, uh, my God. <laughs> Told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered. As absurd as that comic was. To 1960. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Hmm. Did her dad uh, get his hand cut off? Oh, didn't? Yeah, yeah. At the table saw. Oh, do you think, like, uh, maybe the dad was the hookman, right? Because he doesn't have a hand anymore? Pog was was dad just trying to help her with her career perhaps happy birthday barbara that is a moldy ass fucking cookie cake Pog popcorn people popcorn <laughs> mm. very interesting oh can i go back in yeah because there was another door in here i guess now i know why mom didn't like me playing with the music box true Hello? Interesting. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Oh, really? Well, I guess because if she's like a celebrity. Edie's father, Odin, built the original house. Hmm. What's over here? It's funny. All those times I played with the music box and never found the basement key. Calvin, 1950 to 19. My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. With his dead brother, or was it just his brother who then died? As a These kid, I just assumed every out. house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. <laughs> Yeah, I could see that. Was just Sven and Edie? The last time I was in Edith Sr.'s room, I was 10 and she was painting my portrait. Hmm. So Sven was 1915 to 1964 and Edie was 1917 to 2010. Damn, Edie! Look at you go. Okay, I didn't go down this hallway. Oh wait, that's not a hallway. What's, Mom must have what's up here? Mom four stairs on the night we left. Oh. Something's plugged in up there. I wonder if that comic was right about there being a key inside the music box near the basement. Molly. I know, Molly I always know. seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with. If she hadn't died in 1947. <laughs> oh, if only. Alright, let's go find that music box. Here it is. Okay. Here we go. There we go. That is such a cool fucking idea. Hello. I hate how slowly we walk. <laughs> Little monka. Okay, just regular basement things. Ooh, woodworking shop. Sven was into woodworking. Mom said the basement was off limits, unless I wanted another tetanus shot. Poggy, Sven made gnomes, glowing gnomes. Pretty, pretty cool, Sven. 
Oh, and he... <laughs> I thought that was knocking. He also made the, uh, the canvases that, the wood canvases that, uh, Edie was painting on. That's cool. It is I saw fucking Edie sneak down to the basement once. Dark. Carrying packages. Oh, yeah? I thought maybe <laughs> she was hiding presents. Anybody in here? It turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. Oh? oh fuck me? It's so dark. Oh my goodness. I remember <laughs> asking mom fuck? once about where Walter had gone. She said this after seems... Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. Oh. Oh. You got a whole bunker down here. There's a all these stories. Got some grape jelly. Some tasty beans. Pog. Good taste, good taste. I think it's that some, none of us uh... has gotten very far. What else you got in here? Is that pea soup? Soup. Sweetie crisps. Walter. Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. Walter got a nice voice. On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Having a what schedule, living for today. Oh, oh. I always expected to be dead tomorrow. But if you wait long enough, you get nice to spice rack. Even a monster on the other side Slurping of the door starts to feel normal. Oh my god, I was Almost just talking friendly. about wine peaches last night. Friendly monsters? And then one day, everything just... stopped. Oh, yeah. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe it got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. True. Oh it's no, we're out of peaches. Now, the longest in 30 years. Fuck. Oh. I'm done waiting. Oh? I have to leave. Well, I still can. Hell yeah, Walter. You live your fucking life. Damn, Walter made some... Some train models. Let's go, Walter. Go live your life. Don't even. Oh no. Don't even worry. Nothing bad will happen. Gotta go out and get some more peaches. True. <laughs> Gotta get a refill. Ooh. What else we got? Jiggly Farms? Tomatoes, nice. What's that? Something cereal? Extra crispy. I know it's out there somewhere. Whatever killed Barbara. Oh, so he was hiding Mom. from the monsters. And Calvin. Well. Maybe this is all a mistake. Just go hunt them down. You got this, Walter. But I need to stop living the same day. Even if it kills me. Hell yeah, Walter. Whatever's Ooh. out there, I want you to know I'm ready for it. I'm going to appreciate all of it, especially the food. Hell yeah. What, you tired of peaches? I don't mind if I only have a year left. 
In pea soup. Or a month. He obviously didn't want the pea soup for beans. <laughs> I'd be happy with one more day. I can already imagine the sun on my face. Oh, Walter! No! <laughs> Oh, Walter. <laughs> oh, Barry. He's Walter so died when I was six. <laughs> I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. 1952 to 2005. His altar has peaches. Oh, poor Walter, man. I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. Oh, he made himself a little window. That's so sad. Oh, let me out. Try not to get hit by a train. Down you go. There you go. Maybe she was afraid Oops. I'd end up like Walter. Oops. No, let me down. No, let me down. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... Hmm. Let me down. That <laughs> was fucking bad. I keep finding more cool ways to do tax, right? Are there books in the escape? Look, maybe Walter needs some extra storage, but if right? She never told me about an uncle under the house. I can only imagine what else she was hiding. Maybe that was the mole man story she made. I don't oh. want to make the same mistakes she made. Is that your poopy hole? Damn, look at all this peanut butter, too. Sweet... What does that say? Sweet Wee Farms? Oh my. Right, let me, let me out. Bury something that's still alive. It's so dark. Don't get hit by a fucking train. I swear to God. there's only one of us left. Or maybe two. Two? I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself. Mm. And found out what happened to everyone else. Hell yeah, as you should. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe we believed mm. so much in a family curse. We made it real. Oh, Walter. What is that? <laughs> Is that the boathouse? Oh. Huh. So maybe there was more island here. Because it looks like it got like ripped off. I don't know if I should even be writing this. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a chair. Maybe it's be better so if all pretty. this just died with me. But I thought you should know about your family. What is that? And the history you're a part of. That seems spooky. This game is really pretty. Are they even- there's a little floaty over there. Oh. When there's a dock that got ripped off there to be too. honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. I think the people in these stories believed them. For what that's worth. Hmm. I hope I didn't miss any stories. It feels like it's just begun, right? And when you look at the house, that history of imagination and stubbornness and madness any of it seems possible. This game is so fucking cool. Oh no, is this the swing? No! <laughs> R.I.P. Oh, maybe that's why there's a statue over there, because maybe he fell over there. It's fucking bad, dude. Which way do I go? Am I supposed to go I this way? I think we've been surrounded by death for so long, we've just gotten used to it. 
What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? You right. You right. I also don't know many people who build a cemetery uh, on their house at all. It's embarrassing though, for me to admit this, but... The pet oh, cemetery man. may be more uncomfortable than the human one. Holy... Wait, is this just Three the... of the gerbils are mine, and two had been my fault. Are these all the pets? Dude! Christopher... Oh, it's a fish! No, Christopher! 1942 to 1947. Honestly, that's pretty damn good for a fish. Shadow, it's a cat, 1978 to 1988. Shatsy? 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 1955 to 2009. Oliver, 82 to 89. Bob, 80 to 84. Why is this one only four years? Damn, dude. Take better care of your fucking pets. Lucy, 56 to 69. Daisy, 85 to 93. 93 to 07 for Charlie. Tucker is 88 to 92. Coco, 74 to 79. Zoe, 62 to 70. Zerfy, Zerf, Zerpy, Lurpy, Furpy, Chirpy, and Burpy. Oh, and Derpy and Derpy Jr. <laughs> Sven no. built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. They can't even keep themselves alive? How do you expect them to keep pets alive? Why are they buying so many pets? Why do they keep getting pets if they can't keep them alive? Oh, Molly! No! Oh, Calvin. Well, that's a human one. Oh, wait, this is also a human one. I was thinking this was the cat version of Molly, but this is a human Molly. Calvin, Sven, Edie. Walter, Barbara. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. Mm. Oh. Oh no, that's so sad. Wait. She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. Oh, this. Oh, are we gonna get to figure out what that is? I was wondering. Oh my god, it looks like my vision in the morning. Oh. Edie <laughs> said she dreamed about the old house every night. Oh. It's the old house. Edie's side was always easier for me to understand. Oh, this is the human one here? But the older more I get, humans? the more I can see where my mom was coming from. Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. Aww. Sam Finch, 50 to 83. Bess Finch, 69 to 82. Gregory Finch, 76 to 77. 70s, wait, what? 76 to 77? Bro. You didn't get to live at all. This game is really pretty, though. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. Lewis Finch... What does that say? 88 to 2010? Sanjay Kumar. Oh, different last name. 66 to 2002. Milton Finch. Uh, 1992. No date, or no end date, dead date, dead date? There's that... so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday and find everything out for myself. Mm -hmm. If that were the case, then why would she keep destroying stuff? <laughs> this seems sketchy. Damn, you got a whole fucking patio up here. Two plates? But looking back on it now... Oh, that's a whole treehouse, Jesus. If she told me there was gonna be so much climbing... <laughs> I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. 22 weeks 
pregnant and you're on this fucking branch, m'lady. Oh my god. Bro, you wonder why everyone in your family dies in strange ways. What is that? Huh. What are those? Are those milk cartons? Little milk bird houses? Come and get your milkies, I guess. <laughs> I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. One thing I love uh, uh, is how linear this is while giving such a good feeling of exploration. It doesn't feel like you're being forced through it, but it definitely leads you through all of it. Yeah, I agree. The way they do it is quite nice. Like, you can take extra time to walk around if you really want to. Oh, is that a bear? Oh, it's a they rug. They were both pretty intense. You don't say. Oh, they like hunting. Sam spent his life shooting photos, but Mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. Maybe in the military? Oh! Oh, Sam! Okay, so this was one of the brothers from that shared room. But older. Oh, and the guy in the photo! Got it. Right, right, right. He was uh, into photography. There's your baby. Dawn, I promise you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, oh. sir. These memories are going to last a lifetime. Mm -hmm. Oh, Perfect. my. Am I going to have to shoot anything? <laughs> it's going to rain the whole weekend, isn't it? You betcha. What am I taking a photo of? Huh? Oh. I will never forget this weekend, Dad. That's the spirit. Okay, got it. <laughs> I'm gonna take Ray some mode. pictures, okay? Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. Fog. Flash. Aw. I'll give you guys a warning because they're real bright. Mm, there's You're a right, Dad. It's path. starting to clear up. It's still freezing, though. Definitely a set path, and uh, you can't stray. But it lets you take your time and poke around. Yeah. I actually really like that about um, like when games do that. What am I looking for? Oh! Birds? Flash? Oh god. I know it's coming and stole my eyes. I... Definitely should not. Oh! <laughs> hmm. Are you paying? I want to take a picture of you. I definitely won't be moving. Are you done yet? Does it sound like I'm done? Nothing quite like being outside. Am I supposed to take a photo of her? Okay, Flash. Hey! <laughs> I don't know. Oop. A little more gas in the tank, I guess. Ooh. I'm just saying, I'm not always going to be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff if you want to survive. I'll be Flash. fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was going to be fine? Some guy who died. Don. I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Pong. Doesn't Ish. being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell Flash. you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Oh. Hey, Poppy. Flash. Don, don't you think you could find something more interesting to photograph? What is this? Poem. Last time I was with my brother Calvin. Man, that was a great trip. Your grandpa's fan taught us how to Dad. Good eyes, Don. Flash. I see a deer. Bob. Oh, get back up. Flash. God, there's so much flashing. My Before fucking you took eyes. Shot, let me get a picture of him. Oh. Dad, I. Just breathe. Turn Flash. off your imagination. Didn't she say she didn't want to hunt? Not if you don't want to. But if you want to survive, you'll need to be strong. No. What? No. Great shot, Don. Oh my God. <laughs> what? 
Oh, no flash. I'm proud of you, Dawn. Always remember <laughs> that, okay? Oh, that's me. Oh, we're on a timer. Oh, fuck. Yeah, hold on. Let me come and uh, Sorry, pose Don, with my... Sorry, reset the timer. Let me go pose with my fucking sad crying daughter. And, uh... And this dead animal that I made her shoot, even though she expressively said that she didn't want to do it. Dad, it's twitching. I think That's it's totally so normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about Dad! it. Dad! <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> Get fucked, I guess. Damn. Of all the Sorry, stories, I shouldn't laugh. That's the one but I wish Jesus. most that my mom had told me. God damn. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not funny, but it's kind of funny. Oh, <laughs> uh, God. Oh, my. Oh, wait. Okay, I want to see if I missed anything before I go in there. I didn't really look around. Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. Mm, you mean to cause it? <laughs> There's a bit of a difference. Um, oh, I thought I might get some dialogue for that. Can I open this? Damn, this door is fucking glued tight. Mm. Oh, the goose. It's a Canadian goose. They're fucking nasty. Alright. After Sam oh died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. Mm. What is this? Finch control? Oh, that is fucking horrifying. I'm kind of surprised you would put this in a, a baby's room, you know? You wouldn't want to get stuck in there. Uh. Hey, buddy. 1976 to... Oh, this was the 1976 to 77. What is that? That is fucking awful. I hate that so much. You fucking freaky, dude. <laughs> I hate it. Uh, so, Kay and Sam Finch. Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like, something funny was happening, but only he could see it. Oh, I think the he frog. saw things the rest of us don't. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm controlling the frog. Gregory, it's time what? To... Hold on, sweetie. Yeah, let me enjoy my fucking fumes. Hello? Sam, I told you I don't want to talk right now. Pog, get it, Pepe. Hell yeah. <gasps> Can I pop the bubble? I can pop the bubble. This world is it's cold. Come on. Parkour. One more. Come on. Come on. Oh, hell yeah. Look at him. He reminded me so much of Calvin. <laughs> Lost in his imagination. Let's go, gamers. <laughs> I love this. This is so weird. Can I knock off all my names? Oh shit, let's go. It was he saw. Pog? It sure made him happy. It's a fucking gamer. But the letters on the fucking whale. Wait, am I supposed to come over here? Ah, oh I got you. Don't worry. Come on. Hurry before mom's here. Oh, let's go. 
bubble it up. Uh, I worried about a baby being too happy. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, let's go. Slipping away. Ooh. Sorry about that, Gregory. <laughs> I know you did everything you could. divorce contract so they divorced after this oh god oh god please stop drawing him like that it's so freaky um clear <laughs> clear distress in background phone call crystal let's go i'm sorry <laughs> oh um you ready Dawn. Oh, Dawn doesn't even have a bed anymore. And Gus. I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry, and yet... Poem for Gus? A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Oh. Our father oh. never hit us kids, at least not very hard, before uh. the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. Oh, I'm floating the kite. Pog? Give me all those letters. Hey yo. Oh, I can't get these ones. My father oh. made them come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. That is so cool. You have to like turn the letters around. I tried to talk him out of it, but though he'd never met her, we don't need a stepmom were the words that I now pronounce you. <laughs> oh, stepmom. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Who are we getting married? Who's getting married? Oh. Oh, this was the thing that was not. When the time weird. the photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign, held up his middle finger. Wasn't this the thing that was like knocked over before? Damn, I'm bumping this thing into everything. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, I actually just distracted flying this fucking kite. The wind picked up and panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. The tent? Oh, there they go. Get in the tent, you goons. Oh, there, there. Oh my goodness. Oh, fuck. Yeah, get them all. Get them all. down in buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. <gasps> oh, were we destroy- Oh, fuck. Yeah, hold on. Let me get more ammo. The thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power. But all my father said to this was, Yo. Make the music louder. Make it louder. Let's go. <laughs> Party? Pong? <laughs> uh oh. <gasps> oh no, the pole! 
I wish oh. that I could truly say ooh, I thought about ooh. you on that day. A little squid? Out there on the beach alone. Just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. <gasps> oh. <gasps> but I didn't. Until we found you. <gasps> no, you forgot about him. Oh my god, poor Gus. She never talked about him, but mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. Hmm. Man, rip and pip, Gus. Jesus. What is this? Ray's flag at 7.30. Breakfast at 8. Quiet time at 11. Duties. Uh, Dawn sweep trash. Oh, sweep and trash. Gus mop and mow the lawn. Greg, <laughs> be a baby. Well. <laughs> routine. Oh, they have exercise routine. Jump rope 100 times, jumping jacks 150, push-ups 100, crunches 100, run to mailbox and back. Bro, these kids were more fit than I'll ever be. Jesus Christ. House rules. No playing outside without permission, no answering door for strangers, no messes after dark, all chores before dark, respect others. That is a good rule. Oh, oh damn, you kind of gooey, huh? What did you do? <laughs> Oh, rock climbing? Let's go. My mom Actually, stepped to the loft after her brothers died. Valid. Oh, that was Dawn. That's why her bed wasn't there. At the time, it was as far away as she could get. Mm -hmm. I love rock climbing. <laughs> These kids are ripped. Ooh, cute. Oh, so colorful. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <gasps> no, don't go back down. No, I made a mis- I'm sorry. Just stay up here, please. Just stay up here, please. This is so cute. Oh, the Bible. Oh, no. Religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. Oh, that's fair. Do what you gotta do. I'm not really religious at all myself, but... She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Hmm. Oh, that's a real person photo. Interesting. Uh, we're helping hands create safe places. Fly to India. Ten ways to teach critical thinking. So maybe she was going into a building. Building there. Oh, this My is so cute. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Hell Lewis was born yeah. a year later. <sighs> They got busy real quick, huh? When my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. Oh, cute. Oh, this is I'm so I'm sure Edie is happy cute. to have her back. Dawn, Lewis, Milton. And to see kids in the house again. Edith. Oh, man, all your fucking pl <laughs> What happened here? Mint, pog, mint. Thyme, basil, pog. The house had to get a little bigger, but... Edie was used to that. And for a oh. while, things were good. Almost normal. Homeschool? This is pretty. I love little lights. Great job. Awesome. Edith. Barbara, Molly, Sam, Calvin, Sven, Gus, Odin, Gregory. Oh, Lewis rules. I thought it <laughs> I thought it said Lewis and Lulz. <laughs> eh? <laughs> but it didn't last. Nice computer. Wow. That's a family, alright. What is this? Scientific method. Observation, question, research, hypothesis, experiment, data and conclusion. Family history, fact, or fiction? Oh, interesting. The beginning of the end was Milton's 10th birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. Pog? Ooh, I can go up there. Okay, wait, I want to go across the bridge first. Milton. This looks like a greenhouse. Hello? 1992 After and there's Milton no end date. The only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings. 
how I see. So they didn't do an end date because they didn't know for sure if he died, I guess. Can I get in there? Oh, I can. Yeah, let me in. It's fucking filthy in here. It's like, well, <laughs> really dirty and really clean at the same time. What is this? Almost looks like a map. I think Edie was happy to finally have another painter in the family. It's nice. Ooh. Water slide, maybe? What's this? Ooh, okay, Milton. Cool. Ooh, cool. Wow, I know what brand this paint is. Actually accurate. Milton Finch in the magic paintbrush. Oh. <gasps> A zine? Zine? Oh. Ah, uh, flip book. Achoo! God, I've had to make these before. It takes so fucking long. These things are actually thick as fuck. Oh, he's like building a door. Uh... Oh, nice magic trick. Oh, like actually just went missing after that. And disappeared. 92 to 2003. Oh. Did you check? Did, did you check in the? In the, uh, uh, did you check in the canvas? <laughs> Mom spent months searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. Oh. Oh, he painted, like, his door. Well, I found him. He's right there. <laughs> you ever play uh, Unfinished Swan? Uh, I didn't. By the same creators, right? It's, like, similar vibes. I would be down to Get in there. <laughs> Whatever Milton so maybe... found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's go into the mystery tower. I'm very curious. Milton is a reference. Oh, Mom is it? Blamed Edie, to that game. I think Lewis blamed himself. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room until mom got him a job at the cannery. Oh, the cannery. Wait, after he graduated, what did he go for? That is a cute little uh, seating setup. Dangerous as fuck, but really cute. Can I peek? Lewis. Everyone always told me to stay out of Lewis's Ooh. room. Except Lewis. Of course, of course. Fog. Some weed. Some weed things in there. <laughs> if you played, uh, you know exactly what happened to him. Oh, okay, interesting. Super huge reference. Interesting, interesting. Maybe I'll have to play it then. Oh, the stairs are broken. Can I go along this side, maybe? Ah, there's a window. I didn't notice there was a ladder. Please do. Whoa. Okay, okay. What was it? Unfinished swan. Okay, okay. I'll keep that in mind. Is that a one setting game as well? Ooh, cool room. Got the gamer lights. Nice. Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. That part <laughs> yeah? of the dawn. <laughs> the weed. He was so proud of being Indian. I think for him, Good. it was a way to be something other than just a finch. Good. Dude, I fucking feel that. Being a mixed kid is kind of weird because you feel like you don't really fit in no matter what. Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was Gamer. surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. Wonderland Turbo. Why is that surprising? 
Ooh, high school diploma. Lewis Finch. Oh, so was it after he graduated high school? I thought it was for college or uni. Oh, pong. Nice fucking setup, bro. Hey, yo. <laughs> Don Finch. Greater Seattle Institute. Dear Mrs. Finch, Ooh. as Lewis's psychiatrist, Fancy. I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Oh, oh Newly shit. sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony <gasps> of his daily life. Uh, oh, I see. He kept working at the cannon. Frog? Oh, fuck him. But he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. Ah, fuck, sorry. His mind began to... Where's my fish? My mind began to what? Can I grab that? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Yeah, his mind began to white. Give me another fish, will you? What do I do with this? Wonder. Oh, oh, yeah, I can walk around. That's a head. Oh my god, I thought I was trying. <laughs> Got it. Oh shit, I have to do both of this at once. Describe it. Oh, that's weird. Hand is with mouse, and then wazd. My fucking multitask. <laughs> I'm fucking dyslexic. This is hard to do at the same time. Please. Shit. Imagining a labyrinth. <laughs> Fuck. Every time I have to put my hand forward, I like walk forward. God. I'm getting behind. Shit. Fuck. Then something moved. Yeah, what moved? What moved? Bats. Bats. Oops. And toads. Toad Pong? That way? I... shit. Where am I going? Did I go to the wrong direction? There's too many things happening at once! And things that have not names. Ah, shit. He knew it was all in his head. Fish. Good imagination. Oh, nice. He took it very seriously. Oh, I tried to grab that one. <laughs> I had hoped he'd find himself. Fog. Red carpet. But he found something more. This looks like a video game. I mean, I worry this is a video. Daydreaming at the cannery. Where's my fucking fish? Oh, fuck, I can't... <laughs> It's so hard I spoke to do. with his boss. Mm -hmm. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Fog, oh, model Methodical, employee. Tireless, focused. <laughs> so like a fucking robot? Mm -hmm. Like a whole yes. new Lewis. So I let him go on. Sounds like Lewis is dissociated. I even encouraged him. Oh, it's getting bigger. It's like taking up it more of the very screen now. At first. <laughs> Fuck, sorry, I keep bumping into shit. He told me he'd made a new friend. Hoppers, nice. Pet the dog. On the edge of a city, oh, he named fish. Lewis Topia. Lewis Topia, oh my god. He built the city up slowly, brick oh. by brick. Got my own band? Let's go. And he made Here, kick a little pat. Oops. Oh, fuck. Sorry. I'm back. Welcome back. Hey, let's go. Good jam. Oh, I got stuck. And songs for them to play. He talked about starting a band. Let's go, Lewis. <laughs> Every day his imagination. I love the little waving arms. 
he no longer Ooh, spoke let's go. Like an enemy. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Nice. Good chops. Then one day it struck him. That all that? the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all uh -huh. in his imagination. Did he not know that before? True. He held an election for mayor. Pawn? Oh, and he won. Of course he did. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became oh. a game for him. Oh, I have to keep going. Wow, okay, so this is taking up like the majority of the screen now. He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. Hog Vikings? New Lewis here. New Louisville. How creative, Lewis. St. Louis. St. Louis. <laughs> he started drifting away from our reality. Mm -hmm. Sounding hella dissociated, my friend. Minneapolis. Minneapolis. Until one day he forgot to go home from the canal. Oh. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. Oh. Huh. Interesting. In Lewis, he, like, he heard rumors gone. of her. Oh, a beautiful prince or a handsome queen. Yo, you know what? Let's go with beautiful prince. Beautiful prince. Mm. Oh, I love that you can choose. Oh, so cool. A little path. A little boat path. I like the your little prince boat was on pets. his own quest for... Uh, rain radiant rainbows or sinister serpent. Let's radiant go. Rainbows. Let's get some gay prog in here. Oh hell yeah! Let's go. Oh fuck! I knocked out. Shit! I'm so sorry. I <laughs> got this. Fuck. <laughs> There's so many fucking things happening right now. I can't. Piece. Silver harp, electric guitar. Let's go with. Let's go with the harp. I've gone left all the other Silver times. Hall. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Fucking jams, dude. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Pong? Dock here. Even oh, then, thank God. his logic remained sound. Oh fuck! I have to keep fishing. Oh, interesting. This takes up the whole screen now. He knew the world was all in his imagination. And the fish sounds are still going, but it's muted, like it's dulled. Oh wow, we're really in it, huh? But he was so proud of having created it. In his own eyes. He'd become something greater than a king. Pog. Let's go, Louis. Oh, you want a little pat on the head? A little, little pat? For someone who'd never known <laughs> success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. Yo, what the na? Hey, thank you so much for the 45 months. But the real Louis was not the one chopping salmon, but thank the one you. climbing the steps of a golden palace. Oh, golden palace? So close to 50, hell yeah. Thank you so much, Walt Wathana. How are you doing? My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. You have some little head pads. It was hard to argue with him. Ooh. Oh, wow. No more fishies. No more fish chopping. The land being torn pages is super nice, yeah. Sorry, I like could not look over first. <laughs> there were so many directions. Is there blood? What's in there? Nothing. We began to forget the world we know. Dude, we're full fucking in it now. Oh, we're at the cannery. Oh, 
Wait on my fish. No, what the? I was chopping those. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. Hmm. Oh shit, is this us? That's me. Oh fuck. Oh Jesus, that's a lot of fucking fish, Lewis. Are you good? He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. Lewis? There's no more fish, buddy. Oh no. Oh, buddy. Uh, can I like handy some fish or? I still thought I could save him. Bye, bye, Lewis. Don't forget Even to take your fifteen. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. Lewis, hi, Danny. Hi, hi. How are you? Oh, yo! The palace would be packed with his companions. Let's go. Yeah, you fucking wave those arms. Let's go. Look at you. <laughs> They're so cute. Including the wise Calico who'd insisted on inviting. Calico. <gasps> oh, Molly the cat. Fucking nodders. <laughs> Goodbye, Lewis. Sup, bro? Holy Jesus. His prince waiting, holding his crown. It's so loud, bro. Oh my god. Oh, my prince! To do. I think you know. Bro. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. Damn, he was young. 88 to 2010. Rest in peace, Louis. Jesus, dude. On the way back from Louis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. It's too real, man. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. I wish we'd stayed. But I understand why we left. Damn, dude, that one's too fucking real. I think that's the only one that's like kind of more my mom ended up leaving everything behind. Like realistic, like the, like the kind of uh, monotony, I guess, of working a job like that. Cause I think a lot of people work jobs like that and you know, you really do like fucking dissociate a lot during those kinds of jobs. Well, maybe not everyone. I know I should fucking what happened did, but like- been coming for a long time. Maybe it should have come sooner. Oh. So cute. Hmm. 
Mm. But it had to end one way or another. Oh, you! All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. Oh, we're, oh, we're small now. We're crouched. We did. I love the decor in our room, it's really cute. That whole last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper when she raised her glass and said, To our final night mm. together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma. You know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go mm. open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last... I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. Mm. The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or that Edie had a oh. key to it. Oh, we're, we're young her now. The gloves are different. Is everyone okay after that last, uh, that last chapter, by the way? I know that's like kind of, um... Your More realistic. Isn't going to end when you leave the house. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay. Hmm. History of the Finches. Still vibing? All right. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. Stepped away for the last one back now? No worries. Yeah, if you need to take a break, go for it. Um, I remember... Oh, well, I kind of forgot that happened. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. But I have watched this a really long time ago, and uh, I remember I cried on that one. I'm like kind of a... Uh... <sighs> Depending on the day, that shit can hit really hard, though. And, um, you know, so take a break if you need to. I'm like kind of uh, numb to it. There's been an out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. You know, I've seen that house every day of my life. Are we granny right now? I never thought we I'd go back to it. Mm. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. Seen it seven or eight times, still good. Yeah. I got turned around. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh. For a while, I wandered. Seeing things. Dear Aunt. Where am I? Unsure if I'm going the right things way. Things I'd or not. forgotten had ever existed. But when I Good. saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Or maybe I came back to them. Mm. 
things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and... Edith, what are you doing in here? I want it's to... It's mine. Just... Edith. Mom, Mom. rip it, let go. Let go, Mom. I wanted to fucking finish the story. Oh, scream, oh, but... Mom dragged me to the car. Fuck. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. No, Edie. Grandma. The next morning, the van came to pick her up, but she was already gone. Mm -hmm. After that, we moved around a lot. I wonder if she died because of the mix of the meds and the alcohol. We both tried to make the best of it. Oh. <laughs> a few years went by. Oh, that's so fucking cool. My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. <coughs> oh. <laughs> the rest happened pretty quickly. She got better for a while. And then she didn't. And then I was alone. The last finch left alive. Until I found out about you. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes and appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. This journal was supposed oh. to be for you. <laughs> I mean, but now I hope you'll never see it. I just want to meet you. Birthed tell you all these stories myself <laughs> but I guess if you're reading this now didn't out that way uh. <laughs> this is where your story begins I'm sorry I won't be there to see it it's a lot to ask but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. Oh, fuck. Did she die in childbirth? by Giant Sparrow for Shirley Dallas. 48 to 13. Um. This game is a work of art. Yeah. That's the implication that she knew, uh, she knew going into it and the whole story was for her child. Oh, I see. How did she know she was gonna die from that? Alright guys, so that was it for What Remains of Edith Finch. I successfully did not cry, thankfully. Um, I do remember bawling my eyes out the first time I watched this when it first came out. Um, I remember especially um, the whole like fish scene and the you know um was uh hit me really hard the first time i watched it uh over the years i've become very um numb to some of these kinds of topics uh just from you know uh experiences that i've had to encounter uh so don't take my like not reacting to it um as me not caring or something um it's just uh, kind of a different 
sort of response that I can sometimes have as well as like my coping mechanism of like humor. Um, it's just me trying to uh, kind of ease the tension, I guess, of, uh, of those kinds of intense moments. That being said, I'm not trying to like make light of like serious uh, topics in terms of like suicide and things like that are very serious. So if you ever feel like that is kind of the path that you're leading down, um, definitely try to reach out uh, for help, whether it's for professional help or to your friends and family, anything like that. Um, any kind of resources that you can get your hands on basically. All right, but all that being said, um, this game is really fucking beautiful. Like really, uh, like it's it's such a an, an experience to go through and it's very interesting how a lot of the different stories can kind of range from more uh, kind of fantastical or maybe ones that are kind of fantastical but you can see what the actual cause of the death was or things like this. Some of the stories were quite long and some of them were very short. Um, I, I really like the kind of I guess range of them. I feel like this game is quite um, I don't know if bittersweet is even the right word. Uh, it's almost kind of like melancholic I guess. I don't know I, I really the game itself is just so nice and the writing is really good the voice acting the visuals like uh, sound design even like everything was just so well put together and this is quite a, a short game in terms of like it's like around two hours long um but it feels so much longer because of uh all of the weight of it and i mean that in like the best possible way like it doesn't feel like it's dragging on it just feels very um like you've gone through so much by the end of it yeah i don't know i, I hope that you guys enjoyed this game as well um please do some aftercare as well if uh, if it hit you really hard um take a nice take a nice little relax make some hot chocolate or something also i did get a uh, recommendation to play the unfinished swan i believe it was yes the unfinished swan which was a game by the same creators i'm not sure if it was before or after this game was made but apparently that is kind of goes into uh, the entirety of milton's story which if you don't remember who milton was uh, that was the uh, kid who did the paintings and he like disappeared so no one really knows what happened to him uh, so that game kind of goes into that. So I might be playing that one in the future. I'm not sure when it might be a little bit because I have quite a few things uh, lined up, but uh, I'll try to play that in the future if I can. But anyways, yes, that is going to be it for me today. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to me here on YouTube and give this video a big thumbs up if you ended up liking it. But otherwise, I'll see you guys in my next video.